So I just watched Legend of the Sea Devils. Now, with either of the Daleks, I scripted all this and whatnot, but I'm just going to keep it plain and simple here, as whilst I love scripting the reviews and whatnot, um, I'm going to keep it just nice and sweet, as I said before, and just kind of spew out my initial thoughts. Like, I have already processed this with a friend, like, so it isn't just, like, complete mind spew. And I don't think I'm going to watch this episode, not because I didn't like it, but I'm probably going to give it a rewatch either later on before the centenary or after the centenary and Whitaker's era is finished. What I thought about the episode was that it was, you know, a, a really fun episode of Doctor Who. Again, like with Planet of the Dead. <laughs> Other than Planet of the Dead's inclusion of an Easter egg, wasn't necessarily anything to do with Easter, but a fun thing to have on at Easter. I mean, it aired after The Lion King, so just kind of, it was a nice thing, especially for the younger audience. I mean, I enjoyed it. Uh, I could see that it's pacing and kind of a, a bit of the editing choices and, and whatnot I wouldn't agree with, like, there were some parts of the episode where they'd be in the TARDIS or they'd be out of the ship and then they'd be back in the Sea Devils' like headquarters and there'd be like no no explanation as to like why or where they appeared how or why or where they had come from. So it wasn't necessarily a bad thing, it's just more precision within its editing and whatnot. Just even the simple thing of them being like, oh, let's start off back to the sea devils thing and finish it off the action scenes were very very good and brilliantly choreographed again the side characters whilst i kind of i liked madam ching um i'm not really into history but i like madam ching and you know i liked how they kind of had uh, her and oh, I'm, again initial thoughts so i really don't know um the character's name but I liked how they set both them up as antagonists only to find that they're merely victims to the sea devils I really like the sea devils I feel like it did cheat a little bit having them coincidentally be sea devils before their 1971 debut because it kind of just had Chibnall cheekily like miss out some nice fans like deserved fan service in exposition about it and also, well, it also went with how kind of quick the episode, what kind of felt like it went. Like, it established the Sea Devils pretty quickly. And I guess with how they were making a massive big deal about the Sea Devils coming back anyway, I'm not surprised. But the episode itself was quite sh shortened down. Now, I've heard rumours on Twitter and whatnot I'm not really going to get into, but, you know... I personally don't entirely believe that rumour. I personally believe that a lot of this, Eve, Eve and Legend of the Sea Devils, or Eve of the Daleks and Legend of the Sea Devils, a lot of that, will, I reckon, has been pushed aside for the centenary, and bloody hell, the centenary looks absolutely amazing. I absolutely can't wait for the centenary special, like we got the return of Spoilers here, Ace and Tegan and the, the Ashad's back which I'm happy that they haven't just let him get killed off because I think the way he were executed in Town was uh, Children was so underwhelming honestly but yeah the only thing again is that the BBC.2 team the marketing and whatnot are brilliant at doing what they're doing but in a story like that, where we're already wanting to process a very kind of quick pace story itself, to then be bombarded with bigger news and potentially ones that the fans be more important with. I know it's unfortunately like the way that things have to be now, especially with an era that isn't entirely liked and that the, the names Tegan and Ace and uh, Simon and Daleks will kind of bring more of an outside audience in. That's the only thing that I'd say, because it was kind of the same thing with Evil of the Daleks. And that's kind of why I don't necessarily want to be scripting scripting this. I perhaps will eventually get around to doing an in-depth review of it, but here's my initial thoughts. Um, 
I don't really need to process it because I kind of understood what the episode was and I guess it's intentions and whatnot, but I had fun with it. It was a nice thing to have on an Easter night. It's nice to see Doc 2 on again. Phasmin, again, that was kind of beautifully handled. I kind of like that the now that we're getting now that we are at the final stage we kind of are getting into the doctor and not just 13 but the doctor itself and his character and i guess how much of a old character in time and space he, uh, she is and yeah uh dan was pretty good as well he was pretty good comic relief um but yeah i guess hats off go to jordan whitaker and Mandip Gill, the actress that played Madame Ching as well. I'm not, even if I knew the actress's name, which I don't, unfortunately. Even if I did know her name, I'm I'm not gonna say it here because I end up pronouncing it horrifically. But yeah, so the story of the Sea Devils again. Nicholas, I think I believe it was Nicholas Briggs that did the voice for the main Sea Devil. And it was Craig Ells that did Carvinista that did the um, physical acting. But that were good. The visual effects for them was pretty good as well. There were rumours that apparently they wouldn't have looked that good, or that they had to quickly kind of change up, change up certain bits because they looked terrible in thing that in in real life and physically which is why they had to rely heavily on visual effects. But it isn't necessarily a bad thing, and they look pretty good. So. Yeah, I definitely would rank this over Eve of the Daleks. I mean, I do like the Dalek story, but... Mm, but yeah, bring on the centenary. To say, I believe the intention was that it's going to be 13's last, well, penultimate story. And I kind of like that it wasn't a Waters of Mars scale story or a... I'll just, I'm just going to use water, Waters of Mars as a thing, but they were not inkling to any danger or the end like we got in at the end of the flux with the uh, Vanquishers. I did like the little scene, it was quite subtle, and the skimming rock scene was quite good as well with Furt and wishing it gone forever and ever. But yeah, I don't know, I'm probably going to end up leaving this all in, but yeah thank you all for watching and yeah we don't have a title for the centenary special yet so i'll see you all for the centenary special the uh, special and yeah rank it above either the daleks i'd probably give it 7.58